thousands of students right now in the Metro East are headed back to school this morning. And our Matt Chambers is live at Collinsville High School, where, Matt, there's a lot of excitement on this first day of school. Seems like it's really building out there. Guys, just to kind of build the scene here, I'm just about two walls away from the gymnasium, and I can literally hear the high school band warming up here in Fletcher Gymnasium. Pep rally kicking off at 6 a.m. Here's what I've learned in my brief time here at Collinsville High School this morning. They do a fantastic job of balancing a little spirit-based crazy and a little bit of academics and leadership, too. And I've got some folks here this morning that are prime examples of that. We have Cole McCluskey. We have Carly Joe Jackson. We have Ben Simpkins. And we've got Elliot down there on the end as well. Now, this is a mix of K-Hawk crazies and some student council leaders too. But Cole, I want to start with you. First of all, happy first day of school, man. Thank Are you, you ready? Thank you. I, I better be. Yeah, you right? better be. Better right. be. Clock's yes, sir. What does it take to be a K-Hawk crazy? And what exactly does that mean? Hey, you got to have school pride, be excited, be at every game, and just be like a little extra crazy than everybody else. <laughs> I can kind of see it in your eye, Cole, that you might be a little extra crazy. Try now, this be. is something you can only do as a senior. That's my understanding, right? Seniors get the overalls. They get the, they get the flags, get the sticks. We try to get everybody involved, but you're crazy when you're a senior. So is this a thing that a lot of sports fans, high school sports fans, kind of, as they come in as freshmen, they see the crazies, oh, they yeah. like what they're doing, and they, they push for it, they, they want to be a part yes, of sir. it? Yes, sir. Even younger. I remember when yeah. I was little, right, coming into high school, seeing the craziest, everybody wants to be crazy when you go to sports games. You making a difference out there on the football field and on the basketball We try to. Yeah. We try to. Yeah, we yeah. try to get everybody in, and it really does. It can change the, the atmosphere of a game. Yeah, I want to talk to Carly Joe too. Carly's a little less crazy, but you know, still comes. Well, how are you this morning? I'm good. How are Happy you? Happy first day of school. Thank you. So, tell me about your role in student council, and tell me a little bit about the the big national convention that yeah. was held here over the summer. So, I'm secretary of student council. Gotcha. And the big national thing, we had states. I think it was, did we have like 35 states come? Wow. We had almost, over 800 people there, and we were the MCs for the whole thing. So mm -hmm. we stood up on stage and we kind of ran the show. So how fun, Ben? I'm going to slide over to you. Why do you think student council is? important and kind of building these leadership skills when you're still young? Well, Stuco is important because it really gets people involved in the school. Student council, you know, we do fundraisers for people and we hold events right. at the school and it really just brings the community, the school together, you know. We have over 2,000 students at this school wow. and we also have one of the biggest student councils in the mm -hmm. area. So. It's really important to get people involved. Elliot, what year are you heading into now this year? I'll be a senior, just like everyone Congratulations, here. and what's your role on Stuco this year? I am Vice President of Student Council. Well, your majesty. What are, you, what are you most excited about, you think, for the 23-24 school year? Uh, I am most excited probably uh, for Student Council to really? do a lot in the club, and I think we're going to have a great year. That's good. It's the yin and the yang, guys. A little crazy. Balancing that with some leadership skills. This is the future of our country, guys, and honestly, I feel like we're in pretty good hands. Of course, I haven't been to the pep rally yet. I think it's probably going to be a little more uh, crazy than controlled starting at 6 a.m., but I'm looking forward to it. We'll head downstairs to the Fletcher Gymnasium coming up in just a bit. Yes. Wait, he just said the future of our country, and he's talking to the crazies? Yeah. So <laughs> no, no, wait a minute. He also mentioned fun, you got to be a good control. mix of... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I like the variety trouble. that he has in yeah. there. It yeah. seems like, man, they're excited. And and I, you try to think back. Would you get up this early as oh a high schooler? Goodness, would you? Right? No, probably I, not. Probably I mean, not. the excitement of TV is great, and Matt Chambers is great and awesome. But like the the sheer number yeah. of people that we are seeing. They're Every gonna, morning. We're going to see some K-Hawk spirit. Yeah, we are. Especially for the seniors. You know, they want to go out in the bang in anyway. There. Yeah, and it's really going to feel like a like a pep rally in the yeah. gym mm -hmm. and everything. That's it's like cool. an all-school pep rally this morning. Maybe they need an all-school nap, yeah. like around lunchtime. <laughs> that sounds or good. Or after yeah. lunch. Right. There you, you go. Get that yeah. Eat the lunch, <laughs> head to bed. Yeah. In the